This video is ready E for everyone should be able to collect Pokemon cards. Well, everybody, welcome back to another Pokepad video. I'm your host, Smooth Operator, back again with more Pokemon Battle Styles here. As you can see, I just popped open the ECB, and now we have the booster box in the back. I'm going to rip open all of these packs right now. So before we get into that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon-related content, where I post unboxings, Pokemon playthroughs, and I just dropped uh, a Pokemon Platinum Part 1 playthrough yesterday. Go check that out if you haven't already. And also, um, anything Pokemon related, especially reviews on sets, I also do those as well. I think I'm starting to like doing that. And you guys are liking it, I mean, viewing it as well. And don't forget to um, scroll down real quick to see if you're subscribed. I will give you five seconds. All right, let's get into the video. So, I'm going to open up all the uh, ETB packs first. These seem a little light. That's pretty light. Never uh, felt that light of a fit before in a Pokemon uh, pack. Don't know if they cut the cards down. As you can see, go ahead and give you guys these. Camera, focus, focus, there we go. All right. Um, so we're gonna try to rip through these packs as fast as we can. We do have some cards that we are looking for, like um, alternate arts are in here as well. Rabbit Strike Shinx, pulled that yesterday. And we get a Min Shao. And the uh rapid strike and quick strike um mechanic no, quick rapid strike and I think uh single strike. Cause I know that's what they put into the games, uh Pokemon Sword and Shield. So I know they're introducing that mechanic. So I think a lot of people are gonna be very happy to play with this set for those who actually play the card game. I know they're gonna be very, very happy. Uh, with pulling some of those cards, as an eye, I already have an Urshifu. As we get a Hollow Kingdra, very, very nice, and a Reverse Hollow Corkle. So Colossal is back in this set. Um, I definitely looked, I, before I picked this set up, I wanted to see if it was worth picking up. Like what's definitely in this set, right? Like what's, what's here? Like is there anything of value? Are there any cool looking cards that I might want to keep for myself to look at later? And answer is yes. There's a lot in here. Um, Empoleon of all Pokemon makes his debut back into the uh, card game with showing up. He has, I think, two or three cards, I believe, as Cedra and some of the first gen Pokemon are making their way back into the card game as well. I love how Hundower, single strike. Hand word and a victory build on my big red. Uh, I see a whole lot of Pokemon are making their way back into the game. I love how Pokemon is shuffling in um, new cards and then shuffling out old ones. It's pretty cool. When I first saw this um, this pack come available, I was like, man, that's going to be very cool uh, with the Urshifus. And I knew they was going to bring that um, new style to the card game. So it's awesome that they actually did that. And I love every bit of it because it adds like a new dynamic to card art and as well as for those who actually play the card game. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we try to um, knock down these packs and get to them as fast as possible. I took them to through them as uh, we're getting more duds here. Not having a single pool look just about yet. So we have four more to go through to the ETB. And then we'll start going through... The big pack of 36 cards for 36 arm um, packs. As we get a single strike, um, Mawile in there, I actually might sit around and actually look at the whole trading card scene and um, see if it's fun actually building a deck. And um, I, don't, I, I might, I might look into. It. I mean, collecting is cool and everything, but I want to see if I'm actually good at playing the card game itself. I kind of want to challenge myself to that. I was trying to do that as we get the um, Hollow Colossal. I was trying to do that with uh, TGC Online, but I'm not going to lie. I, just, I, I find myself um, being stuck in this cycle of trying to um, 
keep up with all the things that I said I was going to do. Like, the Pokemon itself keeps running me um, around town. It didn't help that their um, showcase, I think, uh, a couple weeks ago didn't help. And um, I still want to, you know, touch this T T TCG online and also uh, see if I can build a deck in real life. I have plenty of cards to choose from. So get that nice Gen 2 Steelix. Gen 2 is the best Gen. Love to see that there. So far, it's looking like we're not going to get any hits out of this um, set. Or out of this ETB box. So hopefully that's not the case. But it um, definitely will not be the first time that this happened to me. So... Hopefully not, like I said, hopefully not. But it would not be the first time that I've opened up an ETB and have not pulled a single thing. As we are trying to almost wrap up this ETB um, box. And Jefferson. Yep, uh, this is, this is, this was not a good, this is not a good ETB at all. Not one hit, hopefully this last pack will save us. If not, uh, best case scenario, I literally just bought um, sleeves and a pretty ETB box to display, which I buy those anyway. I collect a lot of ETB boxes. So um, I have quite a few and I have duplicates too. So I'm gonna end up throwing away some of those duplicate boxes too to make room for others. And I just dropped all the cards. Oh, and it was Tyranitar. <laughs> and he was the one face down on the floor. Uh, oh, we got, we got a single strike muscle too. Oh, I hope this isn't scratched. Oh, it fell on the floor. I hope it ain't scratched. Tyranitar finally got a hit. Jeez. I'll put you back there. Jeez Louise, man. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sleeve him up real quick before anything bad happens. I hope he doesn't fall again. And I hope... I really, really, really hope he isn't scratched. Um, on a side note, I'm not a fan of these new styled um, sleeves that they are putting out. They are a little bit hard to open up. I saw that with a shiny face ETB and now I've seen it again with this one. So Pokemon Company, please go back to the other um, sleeves. I, I don't like these. Uh, yep, but that is, I do like the hollow on the back, but I do not like the, uh, hmm, I don't like that. All right, so, yeah, we're going to take out this whole roll <laughs> and just go like this, put them in the corner, there we go. All right, camera, focus. iPhone 12 camera's having a little bit of a hard time focusing, I see, so... Let's get all into the packs. No, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This might be a hit. So far, when I see those codes flip to the back like that, it's a hit inside. So hopefully it is. Hopefully it's a good one to start off this booster box. Maybe. Hopefully. Core fish. Slow poke. Timber, Phoebe, and Acrobat. <laughs> wow. Okay. Didn't think uh, it would be like that. So my stack of cards is about to get a little bit, um, a little bit tall over here. So keep that over there. Uh, the hardest part about doing this video is keeping everything separate and clean. I have a box next to me where I can rip open everything. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is starting to uh, end up being the trend when they put those, I don't know if they do that on accident or what, but luckily, and sometimes that I've seen that, it actually means that I've got a hit. Like, in those packs. Onyx and Conicolder. None hollow. Okay, so my theory is going out the window with it being a hit in there. But, uh, okay. Um, hopefully, so far... <laughs> We just went through like what, 11 packs and only pulled one Tyranitar? Not good, not good so far. Um, I definitely will say that 
uh, for the best bang for your buck, um, Shiny Face is definitely doing the thing of having good pulls to get a Bolton, just like um, Hidden Face did, especially when the vault opened up. The um, Shiny Face is definitely a, a great set to uh, get the best bang for your buck. For those that like to um, collect and invest like I do, I will say that uh, it's very much kinder to us um, over on the Shiny Fate side. Because you're guaranteed to walk away with at least one Shiny. Which is, um, I think I walked away without a Shiny one time. And of course I haven't um, found that many. But um, definitely better value as we get a... What is going on with this set? <laughs> I, I was afraid of this. Hopefully it doesn't continue. Because I have a couple of cards that I definitely want out of this set. Um, but hopefully I don't get... Um, hopefully I don't get like this um, shafted. Hopefully not. But uh, here we go. Um, Ted Pig, Spoink, Vigar, Shinx again. I don't know how many they got. Okay, there we go. Have an Empoleum V Rabbit Strike. There we go. Okay, we got another V in here. So, um, it's another uh, hit, but not the hit that we're looking for. But at this point, I would take them as I can get them as these um, sleeves are a little bit hard to put up. Let's just stick some out. Easy to grab. There we go. Very, very, very easy. So I try to find the top part. There we go. Boom. Let it go right on in. Again, these these sleeves aren't uh aren't very user friendly <laughs> at all. As far as trying to protect the card as you put them in there. Luckily, I have a great and flawless um, storage system. Which is probably going to end up me being uh, putting all the cards back into that booster box. For um, safekeeping like I did with my Vivid Voltage box. Which I did get good pulls in. I did. I definitely did. Definitely, definitely, definitely did get good pulls in that set. Just not the Pikachu. Which just went up in value, by the way. I have a spreadsheet of prices also coming out with this video. Rapid Strike for links. And oh, there we go, baby. Tapu Coco. Secret. Rare. There we go. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes. There we go. Uh, I don't know its price. Off the top of my head, but it will be in the videos. I try to be as smooth as possible. Uh, definitely, definitely glad. Let me look at my computer screen real quick. And I know I'm going to have it um, pop up as the um, price for it. Um, Tapu Coco. Uh, don't have his just yet. So let me pull up um, the other thing that I was looking at, I had it pulled up. Like, definitely had it pulled up. Um, where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Using the good old TCG online. Tapu Coco is going for 20 20 to 25 on TCG player. That is good pricing right there. If you're trying to get some of your money back for um, the card, the mic, the money you spent on the cards, um, you should always try to look and see if you don't if you don't need a card and you know it has value, uh, you can go ahead and sell it, get some of your money back to keep funding your collecting habits. That's what I've always done uh, since I started. Was always, always, always make sure I know values of Pokemon cards. Uh, make sure I know all the values in the set. I did a little bit of homework this morning to prepare for this. So I kind of already knew what was going on as we get another dud. 
but I'm not mad at that Tapu Coco. Hopefully, that's not it. I need more. I will say it is kind of very hard to go through an entire um, booster box and not get anything good. I will say that. It's pretty tough not to come out with something good. But luckily, I did so far. And, um, ooh, Galarian Slowpoke. That's pretty cool. Horsey, Roly Coley. And that was it. Okay. So um, some of the newer Pokemon are definitely making it into the set here. Looks like the first DLC wave is coming through with the Galarian Slowpoke, obviously. With Mustard. Looks like they definitely are um, putting the QR codes on the other side for us. Tower of Darkness. Single strike and rapid strikes are good on the cards. We get another Marowak, no hollow there. Say, so yeah, I'm gonna try to go through these as quickly as possible. Um, just for the sake of this video, I don't want it to be like super uber long. But uh, I mean, as long as you guys are cool with it, as I do make edits here and there. Uh, I'm gonna have all this time stamped as well. So you don't have to worry about it. If you just want to skip around, it'll be there for you as we get another dud. Scatterbug. Another cold. Try to make sure I maintain that thumb on my hand when it comes to these cards so that I do not let the robots um, scan them before you guys can. And another dud. I'm getting a lot of duds in this pack already. Water break. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more packs in that row. And I'm getting pretty much through these, like fairly quickly, definitely knocking these out. So that's pretty cool. Um, energy, um, Tower of Waters, got a bunch of those, Hound Hour. I definitely want that Hound Doom. Meowstic, oh, and a shiny V Corviknight. Oh, look at that art. That's nice. That's nice. Put that baby right there in the sleeve. I love that they're stepping that game up with these Vs and actually uh, putting some hollow in it. And we got a uh, reverse hollow meowstic as well. All right. There we go. All right, got the energy. Oh, these two douchebags. Douche bagos. Uh, Pokemon um, did not give us good in-game content. With Pokemon Sword and Shit, but they definitely, definitely created the most annoying villains ever. Like those two are just straight douchebags. I had no idea what they had going on, but I definitely do not like them at all. All right, here we go. And did we get a hit in this? Yamper, Tapu Bulu, and Sazzle. So here's our regular Tapu Bulu in here as well. There you guys go. One, two, three, four. And let's go. So, uh, still don't have an Embor yet. Still don't have an Orbeetle. And we got a Hollow Luxray Rapid Strike. Makes sense. As we move into the next pack. All 
All right, here we are. Hunch Crow, Phoebe, Weaving Bell, Esper, Electabuzz, Lick a Tongue, Cherry B, Horsey, Scissor P, and we get a nice V Mimikyu. Nice, nice, nice. I love the, uh, the clay doll art that they put on this card. Very, very nice work. Let's go ahead and try to slip that baby on in there. There we go. All right. Cool. Um, two more packs out of that side. Over the cold. All righty. Bit sharp. Those two douchebags again. Slowpoke, Horsey, Jamaica, Clay Doll, and a Galarian Slowbro. Nice, nice, nice little additions. Last on the left side. Hopefully the right side is a little bit more kinder. And then we did pull that secret rainbow rare. So like you can't be too mad at that. Can't be too mad. So here we go. Corporal Bruno is making his way um, back into here, which makes a lot of sense since um, it fits his aesthetic as we get on the Bolton. So that is it for the um, first half of that box um so far this is halftime so um halftime results are um four v's and one secret rare i didn't know the light was shining that's halftime right there so put them all to the side as they pull out the next one let's put our sanitizer right there to keep that up All right, there we go. I think I had them upside down. Do I? I did. All right, second half of the unboxing has definitely taken place. Pergly and another Meriway. And in this instance, I will start putting them there. Like I said, I'm gonna put all the cards back in there anyway for safekeeping and more organization. And I do have a box uh, ready for them to go into. I did the same thing with my um, Vivid Voltage and it worked out just fine, Ronnie Coley, and another Sazzle. Why Sazzle? Rare, I don't know. But this is working out even better for me. Now I can move a little bit faster. Mawile. Boom, there you go. And 25 minutes into the video, that's not bad. As far as like how many there are, um, I mean, cause I see I'm getting some of those rapid strikes and um, single strike energy cards. As we get another Tyranitar. All right, very nice, very nice. But they had to do it twice. There you go, Tyranitar. Hop on in there, buddy. Let me take that and jump on in there. To get the next pack, bust that thing open. There we go. All right. Energy. I don't know why Carvine, oh, never mind. It makes sense why Carvine is Rapid Strike. Probably uses Vine Wheel quick. And another Colossal. Okay. Colossal Hollow is looking pretty good. I kind of like the way it looks. Here we go. Boom. All right. 
Hopefully we get some good pack luck here soon. Uh, Cause so far this is a uh, very low on my um, pull rate expectations from this set. As a gift for links, I think I have the reverse hollow of that car so far. But yeah, um, so far, um, not liking where we're at so far with the pulls. Um, hopefully, uh, I mean, I'm not expecting the um, crown jewel of the set, which is the alternate art for the Rapid Strike Hershey Field, because it does, it does look the best car. It's, it's definitely the best looking car of the entire set. And it's going for 220 to 250, depending on where you're going to um, find out where it is. It's, uh, it's kind of um, interesting that they brought Octillery in for this um, Pokemon set and also added a gold um, ultra rare. Um, I didn't get my rares together. <laughs> you know, the secret rare, uh, ultra rare. I think, that's, I think that's the name of the gold. Oh! We got a hit, sorry. I kind of peeked at it a little bit, not on purpose, but we know that we have a hit in here and I'm trying to get to it. And it is another Epoleon. That's two Tyranitars, two Empoleons. So at least I'm getting the V hits, right? Now we're definitely at least getting those, at least. So it's not too bad there. Go ahead and get these and put them where you need to be at. Boom. All right. Next up. Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe has a nice uh, full art card too. And I'm going to adjust the camera because I'm not oh there goes Orbital. I'm not noticing that uh I'm not keeping the cards leveled enough when I naturally go up. So um uh, let's go down just a smidget to meet oh yeah this is way better I always I think I need to um stop folding it down and keep it right here at this height so they can always know uh, where to go back to. Um, here we go. Always trying to give you guys the best viewing experience when it comes to opening up cars. Oh, get an angry Marpico. That's pretty cool. Cheruby, Horsey, Murkrow. Ooh, a nice reverse hollow sin scorch. And a Trampa, who doesn't get uh, enough love on the online battle scene. For Mantis, I see you. I don't know how many four mantises I have, but I definitely have enough. But they do not have to um, show me anymore. Hmm. Uh, let's see, three, four. All right. What kind of surprise do we have inside? Also, I don't think there are any amazing rares in this set as we pull up the Larry Slowbro. That's what I uh, did know is that I don't, I don't think I saw any amazing rares when I looked at this review for the video. Uh, review for the set will be in the top right hand corner, hopefully. If not, uh, it will definitely be in the playlist at the end of the video. Uh, I will say one of the um, challenges I have been facing recently is um, trying to balance content with a newborn baby and trying to split the responsibility with mama as we get up assassin. Uh, so that is a difficult thing and uh, remembering and keeping up with things is getting a little tough. So your boy has notepads everywhere, trying to remember everything. But I think this video, since it's gonna be so long, I'm gonna try my best to actually take my time before this video actually comes out. Um, the homies would definitely already see what's coming out before everybody else does. But yeah, definitely gonna take my time with this one to give you guys the best uh, unboxing experience you could see from me. Ooh, and a nice egg slash um, hollow. And I'm trying my best to keep improving and keep thinking of ideas 
to make this, you know, very, very visually. But all my friends say I'm doing just fine. But I'd like to hear from you. Um, sound off in the comment section if you think there is something I can add to this viewing experience that you would like to see. I think one of them that I want to see for my own videos is um, going back to having the mindset of setting the um, price of certain cards on a bottom left hand corner. I know others do that and I made my own little graphic to do it, but I'm not going to lie. I've gotten a wee bit, um, a little bit lazy with this since um, I have a valid reason to because we have five packs left, but I'm trying to escape from that and push through because uh, even though I uh, am tired at most times, I am trying my best to still push through and make content. As you can see on this YouTube channel and my main YouTube, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see some shiny back there and it ain't a regular. Uh, I think I might know the Pokemon that is. I hope it's not. I hope it's not the Pokemon I think it is. But I do see a nice little shiny graphic, and it is. <laughs> Single Strike Urshifu V Max. Woo! We actually got a great pull. I'm not going to lie. This is not the card I thought it was. Woo! Nice pull right there. Sorry for your drums. But you don't know how, how glad I am to see this card pop up. This card is going for alternate art. Wait, uh, Art in the Art is going for $48 on, uh, TCG player. Awesome. Charles R, can you share the spotlight there, buddy? There we go. Turn around. There we go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I feel good now that we actually got a good pool. So, do we have any more surprises? I would love to get my hands on the big dog. I think I'm gonna stare at them for a couple of days before I actually um, post them up for sale. But I definitely wanna um, look at them, uh, project videos, photos of them. Then I'm like, all right, you guys can have them. Um, by the way, I do sell uh, Pokemon cards. As we get a nice flapple, okay. I do sell Pokemon cards. I don't sell all of them, but I do sell the ones that are that I know are most wanted, and I uh, try my best to give myself a uh, the best um, customer service that you can get from buying Pokemon cards. Um, so far, across my fingers, I have maintained a perfect score on eBay. Um, I think I've had a couple of good. I have I have had nothing but good reviews because I learned how to package cards and um, send them off. Um, I've only gotten one neutral comment, but on that was me just learning how I was and the guy just said the card came out of the penny sleeve. So I've alleviated all those problems and that was a baseball card. No cards, Pokemon cards have been talked bad about. Everybody's been happy about their choices. I think one card might have, um, gotten nicked, ooh, in board, in transport, but I have made, um... Some some upgrades to making sure that that doesn't happen again. So as we come almost to the conclusion of this video, we are coming down to the wire. But um, I will say that if it doesn't pan out, getting that uh, alternate art Urshifu was pretty fire. Cedra and Electrify. Last pack, guys. Last pack. Very, very last one. Here we go. Do we have the pack look? Or has our look ran completely out? Single Strike. Patarisu. Tepig, Bronzar, Spoink, and drop them. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the video. Uh, you guys have seen the cards as we're going to put Tapu Coco 
And this alternate art, Urshi Food, right here being the top dogs of the pools. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon related content. This is your boy, Smooth Diver Writer, here on Pokepet, and we will be back.